On today's video, I am going to show you all how to move issues from one project to another. So before you can able to do this movement, you first must be a Jira admin before you can do this bulk change from a project to another. And before you also do the movement, ensure you already know or you have in mind the project you would like to move all these issues to. If it's a new project, you've already created that project before starting the move itself, right? Because you're going to need the space to move all those issues to. Welcome back to Aisha's Club. I'm very happy to have you join my platform. Uh, I welcome you all and I really appreciate you all for subscribing and watching my channel. And if you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email me at admin at aishascrumtech.com. So now let's try to discuss this movement. So the first thing we'll do is basically is to go to issues, right? And I'm going to click on issues. And it's going to take me to all of the issues in my project. And it depends if you want to do this movement, you want to move some part of the issues or you want to move all of the issues. It depends. And we can do all of that in the bulk change right here. And the next thing you have to do is to click on these three dots. And when I click on that, it's telling me uh, if I do the bulk change to all issues. And I'm just going to click on that. So that's the next step. Going also issues, then you come to this JQL view and you open uh, bulk change. And if you are not Jira admin, uh, you be you will not see this icon. Uh, it might be blur or you might not even see it at all. So you, that's why you must be an admin first for this project for you to do the movement. So let me click on the bulk change um, as it's loaded. Then they basically loaded all the issues I have in this Aisha Scrum project. And in order for me to select all of it, if I want to move all these issues to a new project, I basically just have to click on this um the key at the top. When I click on that on the top, it basically highlights all the issues. And when I highlight all of it, that means I'm confirming that I'm going to be moving all of this issue to a new project. But in this case, let's say I just want to just move all these bulk issues to a project and I've created a Kanban board. I just want to move all of them to a Kanban space, all the bulk issues, right? If that's the case, I have to unselect all what I've selected here and just select only what I want to move. So I just want to move only the board issues. I'm just clicking the board issues on its own. So that's only what I want to move to a different project. But in your own case, if you want to move everything, just go at the top here and select all of it. So the next thing I'm going to scroll is scroll all the way down and click the next button. And as we move into the next button, then this is very critical. This is where the most important thing we have to do. Um, where is basically to select move issues, you know, move issue to a new project and issue type. So basically you can change the issue type and also move to a new project, you know, and also if you want to edit issue, that's where you're going to click to do all of those things. I want to delete issues, you know, but in my own case, I just want to move the issue, basically move it to a new project. So I select on that and Jira will always give us warning about moving some type specific issues. Uh, we have to also be mindful of the epic. Because uh, if you're only moving some stories that related to some epic and you don't move the epic, you might lose those particular stories. So that's what Jira is giving us one here about the parent epic. And then I hit next. And this is where the change actually happens, you know. Um, so right now it's saying that my current project is an Aisha Scrum project. And the issue type currently that I've selected is the bug issue. And it's the same thing with this one uh, other issue that was affected, uh, which is also the same thing as Aisha Scrum and Bug. And now it's asking me, where do I want to move all of this to? In this case, I want to move it to um, my Aisha Tech, Aisha Tech uh, project. Um, so I click Aisha Tech. So it's also it's very important if I want to maintain this bug issue. I also have to click here and ensure that I choose the bug issue. So I'm going to click on this drop down arrow and choose bug. So then I've chose the Aisha Scrum. That's where these issues are. And I'm going to be moving all of what I've selected to Aisha Tech uh, project. And I want to maintain the issue type as bug. But if you want to change it um, to like stories, subtax, subtax, you can also do that. But in my own case, I want to move it to bug. And then for this other one issue, so I'll do the same thing. I want to move it from Aisha Scrum to Aisha Tech uh, project. And then the issue type for that one other issue that's separated, I want to maintain it as bug. Now click bug. Then so this is if you this is where the change happened. Basically, the change itself that we're discussing, it happens here. Just ensure that you select the right pin and everything. Then as soon as you're done with that, you hit the next. 
and I hit the next column. And now it's asking me for the status, right? I know the ones that are moving right now, they're already done, some of them. And uh, I know for some types of people are moving issues that is that things that are basically in to-do that we need to be worked on. Uh, it's telling me that I have some of my bulk stories currently already in done, but I can say that I want to move it um, back to, I have the targets here for the status. You also have the privilege to choose that. I'm going to say that I want them in the backlog. I choose the backlog. Targeted status, uh, either going to have it in to-do, in progress, uh, in backlog, I'm going to have it in to-do. or Because this is a Kanban board I'm moving these issues to. Uh, so that's why it's giving me those unique, specific uh, status. Or if I just say I want to move it to to-do, I can also do that in this case. Even the ones that I've already marked on. Um, just choose the right status and just to ensure that so when you go back to that project, you're going to know where to find it. But for the most part, when we move it, I've always choose backlog. You know, we can also just do backlog anyways. Um, just move it to backlog. So then I hit next. So then it's telling me, uh, uh, it's really here, your destination is bug issue type, maybe different from the field settings. Because remember, you're moving it from one project to another. Um, uh, update the value field in these issues, select retake. You know, we can do all modific modification, all of that in here, or components on the version, you know. Send me email for this update. No, I don't want no email. So then I hit next. So now Jira is confirming one more time. Uh, below is the summary of the issues that's going to be moved. Uh, it basically is highlighting everything that I'm going to be moving everything to the targeted new project which is going to be Aisha Tech. That's the new project I'm choosing it to. And the issue tech going to be bug. Uh, that's what we selected. And the status for the mapping, like basically the status currently, some of them were in to do and done uh, from the previous project. But the targeted status I want is backlog. So then I hit confirm. You know. And then Jira will start doing the bug change, uh, migrating like five issue, right? Remember, I selected only five issue. So Jira only could be moving those five issues. But if you selected uh, more or basically your whole previous project backlog, Jira will basically move everything to. And sometimes, so here it might take longer, depending on how many issues you selected, it might take even longer for it all to be completed, for the change to be effective. But I know mine was quick because it's only five issues, then I hit done. So uh, this is the Aisha Scrum project. Let me just go to the... Aisha Tech project, so we, I know I can change it on here and go to Aisha Tech project and see if it's already been moved. Voila, this is it. It moved it uh, here. I can also go back to the product backlog uh, from Aisha Tech. I have to go to the right project. Um, this was the old one that I moved it to, so let me go to Aisha Tech. I know I should take the Kanban board, but let me go to the backlog. That's where I move all those issues to. And there you go. These are the stories in the backlog. It gave me extra stories. The same backlog, backlog. Um, these are the other ones I already have in products. Move it to the backlog, backlog. The box stories that was chosen. You see right here, the status backlog, 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 because that's the status I chose for it. Um, and added it. So now all those, those five issues that have moved, all the bugs is now here. One, two, three, four, five. That's the five bug issue. I hope this video has been helpful to you all. If so, like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email me at admin at Thank you all for watching and see you all again in my next video.